Hey everyone, I'm Jess. Welcome to Glue La La. In today's video, I'll be bringing to you two different types of Victorian ornaments. Now the one is um, just kind of a Victorian style Christmas bulb. The other one is actually called a Tussie Mussy. Um, it's like a cone shape filled with flowers. Um, my friend Susan at Simply Susan Historical Living is going to be recreating one or maybe both of these ornaments and she's going to bring it on her channel and she's also going to give a little bit of a history behind the ornaments. So if you're interested in seeing that, go check her out. Her video will come out a couple days after this does. Um, I always link her channel in my description box down below. Um, we actually went to high school together so that's kind of fun that we're both doing this YouTube thing. Um, my aunt always decorates her tree with Victorian style ornaments and everything so I thought that I would make these and then I will give them to her. So if this video comes out before I give them to you, I'm sorry <laughs> to ruin the surprise but you're getting ornaments this year. Okay everyone, let's get started. To get started on our first ornament, I used a pack of these um, gold ornaments from the Dollar Tree, and these are a little bit bigger. And then I'm also going to use this lace ribbon also from the Dollar Tree. And you can see that there's a seam on the bulb, which made it really easy to glue this lace across the surface of the ornament. And I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason, when I got to the bottom of the ornament, I cut the lace off and then I started back at the top again. But you can just glue the whole way around the ornament. And then you're going to take the same lace and you're going to intersect the strip that you already put on and glue a piece down in the opposite direction. Once I had all the lace glued down, I took this um, spool of stringed pearls that I had, and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I just glued the pearls right on top of the lace. Now when you do this, you want to leave a tail on the pearls after you get to the bottom. So you want to glue it to the center bottom and then leave about four inches um, hanging down as a tail and you'll do that on all four sides and the reason I did that is to make it look like there's a little tassel hanging from the bottom of the ornament. Now I'm going to take some of the same lace ribbon and I'm just going to create little loops and I'm going to glue those in between each of the sections that we did before with the lace and the pearls. Now I'm going to start decorating the top and bottom of the ornament. I just gathered up some of the things that I had in my stash. I had this little um, gold leaf trim that I thought looked really nice because it's kind of the same muted gold as the ornament. And then I'll be using some little uh, off-white flowers and then I found some little metal pieces that look like buttons that have pearls in the center. And you can just kind of go to town with this because when I was looking up Victorian style ornaments it seemed like most of the ones that I had seen had a ton of embellishments on them so I just added a bunch of stuff around the top and then I created a little bow and I put that around the bottom of the ornament where the tassel part is that we created with the pearls and then I added a couple little flowers and a couple of these little uh, metal pearl buttons too to the bottom.
For the second ornament, or the Tussie Mussy, um, I knew I needed a cone shape, and I had one of these tinsel trees on hand from the Dollar Tree, and the tinsel garland that's wrapped around these isn't glued down or anything, so you can just kind of pull it off. And then this cone was a little bit too big, so I used my wire cutters to cut off the bottom third of the cone. And then I like to use these microfiber cloths that you can find at the Dollar Tree, so I just laid it out and... Um, you don't have to be real neat when you're covering the cone with this cloth because we're going to cover it up later with something else. But I just wanted to have a white base on it before I started adding the other things to it. And if you don't have um, one of these tinsel trees, you can always just make a cone out of a piece of poster board. The Dollar Tree carries these um, really pretty doilies and they come in a two pack and they come in a white and then an off white. So I took a pack of the white ones and I just laid one out and I laid my cone on top of it and then I'm just going to wrap the doily around it and cut off the excess and then glue everything down and glue the edges to towards the inside to give it a finished look on the top. The Dollar Tree started carrying this really cool um, sparkly yarn. It has a little bit of a furry look to it. So I thought that would be really pretty on this Tussie Mussy. So I started gluing it around the top and then I kind of spiraled it down towards the base of the cone. And then just like with the bulb ornament, I, I left a little bit of a tail and then I cut off a few extra pieces of the same sparkly yarn and I glued that onto the bottom to make it look like there's a little tassel coming out of the bottom of the cone. And then I took that same gold leaf trim that we used on the bulb and I wrapped that around the cone also. I kind of spiraled it down on top of the, the sparkly yarn, but I did not leave that as a tail at the bottom. Next I took some floral foam and I cut it down into smaller pieces so that I could fill the cone up with it. And then I just took a variety of flowers that I had on hand. Most of them were from the Dollar Tree. And I just started arranging the flowers around the top of the cone however it looked good to me. Um, for me, I'm not a great floral arranger. So the best way I know how to do it is to take everything off of the bunch so you can see I was picking those gold branches off and now I'm cutting each flower off of the bunch because it's just a little bit easier for me to work that way if I have each flower individual and then I just started putting them into the foam until I was happy with how it looked. Once I had the flowers arranged, I took some of this gold satin ribbon and I just tied a simple bow. And I took a little bit of the ribbon and created a band around the base of the cone just to finish off where that tassel part is. And then I just glued the bow onto the bottom.
To create a hanger for the Tussie Mussy, I just took another piece of that gold satin ribbon and glued a piece into a loop and then I tucked it into the inside of the back of the cone just so I would have something to hang it, hang it with. Here's a look at our finished ornaments. I really love how these turned out. I really love that muted gold at Christmas time. Make sure you check out my friend Susan's channel at Simply Susan Historical Living. Her link will be in my description box. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know which of the two ornaments was your favorite. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.